Dan Phoenix UL3RE on GMRS on 1.25 meters. Why do you need more than one GMRS repeater in an area? Usage is just like ham radio repeaters. There'll be one in the area, but if the usage gets to the point where the repeater's always busy, somebody else will put up another repeater. When I lived on the front range, could grief. There were gobs of repeaters to choose from. My favorite was the one run by the Boulder Amateur Radio Club that I used actually rather extensively. There are some repeaters here on Waterdog, which is a mountain up that way. Now we also have repeaters up in Grand Junction. There's one way up on the divide here that uh, is where I can't see it because it's behind a mountain, but most of the people in the valley uh, get to use it. Okay, so why do you need more than one GMRS repeater in an area? Because of the usage level. One of the major groups that uses GMRS are hunters. So during hunting season, you're going to get quite a bit of traffic on this. If the hunters are within five miles-ish of each other, they can go direct, simplex uh, between them. Otherwise, they'd have to use a repeater. Why can't everyone use the same repeater? Well, this is too many everyone's. Giving them more bandwidth anywhere wouldn't solve the problem. It would most likely make the problem bigger. What problem? GMRS is a radio service that's available to all Americans. They can use it with radios that come from China, and they can get on fairly cheaply. A GMRS license only costs $35. There's no test. However, you don't get the ham privilege of fixing your own radios. It's a good radio service for someone who'd like to create a little network in a neighborhood or something like that. So, there you have it. Till we next meet, 73.